Hi everyone, so this, this is my live stream for my new apartment update. I have a few... Okay, I'm going to wait for a few people to join and then I'll begin. But if you were a part of my live stream last time I streamed last month, I updated my apartment with a few decor bits to make my apartment feel a little bit more like home. This is the first time that I've actually had the opportunity to decorate my space. Um, whilst I was living in London, I had like a furnished apartment, so I didn't have to. I didn't have the ability to decorate it myself. Um, and then my last apartment here in New York, it was really small, so I really didn't have enough space to decorate how I wanted to. Um, and I knew it was just a very temporary situation, as is this one, but I wanted to make it a little bit more my aesthetic and feel a little bit more like my own if I were back home. So I am currently in New York City. Um, it is so beautiful outside. Let's see if I can flip the camera for you guys. Hi everyone, so I don't know what happened to the last live stream I was currently live streaming, but that is okay. We will start new <laughs> with this new live stream. I am going to show you some small decor updates that I've been doing to my, that I've added to my apartment here in New York City. For those who watched last month, I explained a little bit that I recently moved to New York, um, I think a year ago, so this time last year, and I basically didn't really have a big apartment to decorate how I wanted to. So with this apartment, I have a little bit more space to decorate how I want. Um, so I'm excited to show you guys what my apartment is starting to look like. I have some small things that I need to continue to do, and there are some big things that I still need to do, but I feel like it's coming along kind of in the right direction. So I'm going to show you guys uh, my coffee table area and let me show you what's on there. Okay, so take you into my apartment with daylight savings. There isn't much light, but let me see how I can flip this around. Oh wait, that's not how that happens. Let's see. Okay, well, I don't know how to flip my camera around to show you what this looks like, but here is how my coffee table is set up. Double tap. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> um, let me turn on the light so that there is a bit more sunlight since the daylight is not really happening. But this is kind of how I've set up my coffee table at the moment. I have this tray and I love this texture. And it adds just a little something to my black IKEA coffee table. So I love that it is a circular tray and not a square one. I think it just adds a little something different to the space. And I also love that it's pretty sturdy and it can hold a lot. It's not meant for food, um, anything like that, but it does look nice on your table. So I've just got it decorated with hand sanitizer for when I have guests come over and this small vase 
I also have, I speak French, so I've got one of my favorite French books on here, Le Chance de Honneur. And I also have my reading glasses and on my coffee table as well, I have my favorite candle from Brooklyn Candle Studio. Let me show that on my... This candle smells exactly like Christmas. It's not too strong. It smells just amazing. It's got just enough sage in it where it's not too strong. And I've been burning this, as you can see, for the past like week straight. It is one of my favorite candles from Brooklyn Candle Studio. I love that it's a small business and it's based here in New York. So if you're looking for holiday gifts that are a little special and from a smaller business, I definitely recommend buying these candles. I have several, but this is the one that's currently on the coffee table, which means it's being burnt every day. So this is the coffee table set up. Again, I have the candle and I have this red tray, obsessed with it. I also have um, some hand sanitizer, which is actually really nice and clean. It has a really fresh scent. So this is what the living area looks like in my apartment. And I also have down here some coffee table books. And I work at Summer also, but lots of magazines. But I also keep my incense underneath the table. And this one is the 4 p.m. scent. So I just finished burning this over in my desk area, as you can see. <laughs> so that smells really nice. Let me see if I have it on here for you guys. Oh, yeah. So this incense smells incredible. It burns really nicely. And for a long period of time, honestly, it gets about an hour of uh, burn time and you just put it in an incense tray like this or you can buy all sorts of different kinds of ones and <laughs> uh, it burns really well so this is what I typically burn when I come home before I light candles and that is also underneath here um, and kind of hiding is my beloved fabric fresh this is what I swear by I love this so much. Um, I'm a big fabric freshener person, and I used to not be one, but since moving to the city, I realized that my clothes, after just being out running errands, smell like the city, and I just hate having that smell in my apartment. So this does really well um, with illuminating odors, it also just freshens up your fabrics in between washes. Also living in the city, I don't wash my clothes every week um, with how the, the, the laundry rooms are down here. So this is really nice if I'm like traveling for a bit and I need to just like, and I don't have the opportunity to wash my clothes, then I just go ahead and I spray this and it doesn't smell, it doesn't make anything in my apartment smell, and I feel like I get more wears on my clothes when I use this as well. This is also great for linens and um, your home furnishings, though they have a home fabric one. You can still use this for your home furnishings. I have a lot of linen in my apartment, so my bedding is linen, my curtains, they're linen, and beautiful New York outside. Um, so, this is great um, to freshen those up as well in between washes. This does not eliminate using laundry detergent washing your clothes, but it does allow you to um, let your clothes smell good again if you want to rewear something. Um, also, just look at the care instructions of your clothes to make sure that um, it's not going to ruin any fabrics, but this doesn't. It's completely clean it's natural biodegradable so you don't have to really worry about any of that but they do have specific ones for if you're wa um, wanting to freshen up your wool fabrics or your cashmeres so definitely look into the laundress and this is my personal favorite and I keep it under my table 
so I can freshen up my couch area after a long day as well. So moving on to my desk area. So I was going to get a new desk when I moved, but this one seemed to fit pretty perfectly in the space. As you can see, it just kind of goes with everything. Um, and I like that it's very compact. So underneath, I just recently invested in this um, chair cushion because my chair, though it is very aesthetic, it is not comfortable. So I recently purchased this and this has been a life-saving investment. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to write the number of articles and essays that I have to write if I had to just sit in this chair. This really is a game-changing um, addition to my home. It feels really firm, which I love, but it's also um, incredibly soft, easy to clean. It, um, it, it has just enough cushion where it's not, where you can tell that it's a cushion, but it's not super cushiony where it kind of feels like you're on the couch. So it still allows you to get work done, but um, of course it adds a little bit more comfort and support for when you're sitting down, especially if you're on uh, a chair that doesn't have any sort of cushion. And then moving on into my kitchen, which is quite small. It's the standard New York City kitchen. <laughs> um, for the longest time, I did not have a trash can because I was afraid that I was going to attract all sorts of bugs. And just living in New York, it happens. Um, luckily, I have not experienced any, any bugs <laughs> that aren't normal or that are unnormal. So, but I finally got a trash can and this is the one, if I can present it to you guys, I don't know if I've added it in here. Um, one moment. Hmm. It is not in here, but I will try and add it for you guys so you can see. Oh, here it is. So this self-sealing um, trash can is honestly one of the most adult things that I have in my apartment. <laughs> I, again, didn't, I, I take the trash out every day. I don't like having waste in my apartment when I don't need to have it but because the holidays are coming up and I'm going to be leaving soon um, and I don't have the time to constantly change out just like paper waste that's in my apartment before I leave um, because I always almost miss my flights this trash can is perfect as you can see it's compact enough to fit into my kitchen so it doesn't it doesn't um it doesn't get into the way of anything that's in here it's not too far out where it's hard for you to move um, the best part is, is that it holds um, a pretty decent amount. I want to say it holds, uh, I want to say like eight gallons, but I could be making that up. Um, <laughs> but um, the best part is you just have to weigh, and then I just have paper weights in there, so nothing disgusting. Um, and then it goes ahead, and the LED light that you see in there, it basically, I guess, sanitizes to an extent, and eliminates odors and then it goes ahead and it clean and it closes itself so that nothing can come in nothing can get out if something's in um i haven't had to change the bag yet i've had this for about two weeks so i'm sure once i get around to it i'll have to change it but when you do it comes with 25 bags so you're not having to go out and buy a ton of trash bags at once. It holds a lot of trash. Um, I haven't thrown away any produce or anything in there, so I cannot say if it smells or anything like that. But as of right now, I don't get any odors from my kitchen, which is amazing. And I feel like if there were to be some sort of bug, I wouldn't, it wouldn't get in. So that's like the best part about it. Um, Next, I'm going to show you guys a few things. I just purchased some new flatware for the holidays. And, or, and so I've got this beautiful bowl. 
and I've already had salad in it so that's why I had to get one out of the box because I have one in the sink right now so I can't show you that one but this is an organic dinnerware uh, low salad bowl and it is so beautiful you guys I am obsessed with the color it's a charcoal black um, like a black charcoal it's not really that gray um, but I love the natural uh, ridges around the, um, the bowl and I love that it's pretty wide or deep or it's not as deep but it's not so shallow where like you can't actually where it's basically a plate so this is really nice. I feel like this has elevated my dinner experience <laughs> here in my apartment. Um, something as small as this, I feel like really does help in terms of making you feel a little bit more like an adult. Though I don't have a dinner table, <laughs> um, I still like to eat that. Um, I still like to eat out of nice dinnerware. So this has been a really nice addition to my apartment and I've created some envy amongst my mom and my friends with it. So definitely recommend this for if you're a fan of eating ramen, um, if you make lots of salads, quinoa dishes, it's great for like kale bowls as well. Um, this is like perfect. And then I'll show you the cereal bowl that I recently bought as well. Again, as you can see, it's already one has already been in use. I had a yogurt bowl this this morning. So it's in the sink, unfortunately. But this is what the cereal bowl looks like. I'm trying to find it to present to you guys. Oh, here it is. So this is what the cereal bowl looks like. Together, they're super cute. I mean, you can't get any cuter than this. I like to eat my yogurt out of the, these bowls. I don't eat cereal, but it is a good uh, depth for that. Um, so you can tell it's about twice the depth as the salad bowl. But this is what it looks like. It's that beautiful black charcoal color. Um, the ceramic, you can tell that it's just the organic uh, ridges around the corner. It just feels a little bit more elevated and sophisticated than your typical um, dinnerware that you may get from Ikea or West Elm or Target. Um, I love the design. I love this type of aesthetic. And I love, again, using this to eat my Greek yogurt bowls. They're great for acai bowls. Um, yeah, anything kind of like that. Um, I also like to eat popcorn when I'm snacking. I put my popcorn in here and I eat um, like little snacks and they're perfect for when I have um, people over um, because I can use this to put in little, to make little snack size serving bowls. So I have these. Last live stream, I showed you guys um, the flatware or the plates that I got from from the same brand and I think those are all in the same as well but it's the same uh, aesthetic it's the same brand and so I have the plate and then I have of course the um the salad bowl and then the cereal bowl so that is currently what I've been doing as updating as far as my apartment goes um I know I have some other items on here um I have some glasses and some candles more candles that I actually bought and they're burning um so I will go blow those out so I can show you guys and I just want to see what else I have on here um again I'm getting ready for the holidays so a lot of this stuff is already kind of either dirty because I use them or <laughs> because I am putting them aside so that they can be used um, for when I have Friendsgiving. So let's see. I won't show you what's sold out because I think that's a little unfair. Um, oh, 
the I will show you the coffee cup that everyone has been commenting on my Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram already, definitely you should. Um, at Truly Area, uh, it's the same as here on Vera Shop. Um, I'll show you the coffee cup, and after that, I'll just kind of briefly review and show you my apartment. is kind of messy, but I'll show you what it looks like so that you guys can um, see how the progress is coming along. I didn't make a YouTube video this time around when I moved here. Uh, just because I was in between the internships and working, so it made it a bit difficult. But I love doing it this way because you guys get to see in real time, bit by bit, um, how I've been updating my apartment. So last but not least, in the morning, I love to use my French press, which you guys, I just realized how to use it. I definitely uh, recommend investing in one. But I use my French press to make coffee in my super cute um, coffee mug. This is the perfect size. Uh, let me show you guys which one this is on here. It's all the way at the back. And it's on sale, which is amazing. So definitely invest in this. Put it on here so you guys can see. But I love pouring my coffee into this cup because I actually finish all the coffee that I drink um, when I use this cup or this mug. So um, it's pretty, it's not as shallow as a um, typical uh, coffee cup, but I like that it's wider than normal ones. So these are good for cappuccinos as well. Uh, I don't, I haven't made a cappuccino in a while, but you can use this for lattes, cappuccinos. I have been using it for my French press coffee. Um, I love that it's porcelain. I love the white. I have been loving the ceramic uh, look. And again, anything kind of Scandinavian aesthetic as far as design goes really is up my alley in which, and it's kind of how I'm decorating my apartment. So this is my favorite coffee cup so far. Um, again, I just love how cute and tiny it looks, but it also holds a lot of coffee. So that is what she looks like. She looks really cute against all of New York right now. So that is the last item that I'm going to present for you guys. Um, let me see. So to just show you what my apartment looks like minus the mess <laughs> but we have some so this is the coffee living table area um living room area not living table um and on it i think the main attraction is of course this beautiful uh tray which i will show for you guys again It just makes the entire space feel a little bit more Pinterest, like home. I don't know. It's it's quite my aesthetic, so I love it. I love that. It just it's such a simple decor bit to add to your apartment to just elevate the space instantly. Um, because without it, it just kind of felt like I don't know. It it just felt a little empty and bare, but now it feels like a real living area for how um <laughs> much living area space I have in this apartment moving on to my desk area so again I'm so sorry about this lighting with daylight savings it's just a bit harder but my desk area I have here my beloved candle which I don't think I showed you guys but this one this candle is this one here and this one's on sale as well this one, as you can see, or may not be able to see, hold on. She is gorgeous. She's simple. I love the jar. Once it's done, I'm going to clean that and reuse it. Um, but yes, I've been burning this candle. It smells amazing. This is perfect to burn at night. Um, it's not super strong. This is, this is definitely a really good buy as far as candles go. Again, holidays are coming up, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspo if you have someone who's a home lover. Um, so yes, um, in my desk area, 
we have this cushion that again has changed my life I write so much for those who don't know I'm a fashion journalist major so I am constantly writing editorials and articles so this has changed the game for me and while my chair is super cute and aesthetic it's not comfortable at all so this definitely adds a layer of firmness but it's also um, not super cushiony where you feel like you're in the couch and you're sinking Um, and it's also discreet enough so I don't lose that overall aesthetic of the of the area And then lastly, the most adult thing in my apartment, which I highly, highly recommend, is this uh, trash can. (laughs) And as, you know, mundane as it may be, you never really think about things like this until you you live on your own and you realize that you need a compact enough trash can that fits in your apartment, especially if you live in the city. that you know will be able to hold enough waste so you're not constantly going and having to take out the trash but also seals it and eliminates odors as much as possible and again you guys i haven't experienced any uh uh odor smell odors or anything like that and it it just lifts really easily again sorry for you to see the waste in the bin but it fits really well and It comes with 25 trash bags. You cannot eat that. So I am very pleased with these decor bits that I've added into my apartment. I cannot wait for next month to show you guys some other things that I'm adding that will be coming in very soon. Hopefully I'll have my uh, my pictures, my prints hanging up (laughs) and I'll have a cabinet of some sort to kind of put some things away or a bookshelf and then hopefully a bedside table so I can continue to decorate Um, but I do have a few things coming in in the next couple of weeks to kind of uh, creatively change up my space and uh, for better storage purposes so I cannot wait to update you guys on that make sure you're following me here on better shop I go live three times a month So expect to see me live again, hopefully soon. Um, Hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and spend the days with your families, your loved ones, um, whomever. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great Friday and a great weekend. Bye.